Hello everyone. As you're probably aware that Dial are doing the uh, match memories at the moment. And today I'm going to run you through my best match memory. We're going to take you right back to February, beginning of February. And it is going to be on the town Welland. Um, something that I've never really done before is river fishing. And I'd seen like the real big weights that had been coming out. Like 40s, 50 pound of roach. Penwright and had 54 pound of roach. And I only literally lived two minutes away. And I thought, why haven't I been going? Like, I'm missing out. So what I did, I shot over to um, Alex Bates at Rookery Waters. Um, he's got a really big tackle shop there. So he put me in the right di pointed me in the right direction to what floats I needed, what bait and all that sort of stuff. And the hooks. So I went over there, bought everything, got everything, come back to mine and made a few rigs up um, and hooks and re-elasticated a few top kits. And like, I've never really fished a river before. Anyone that probably knows me, I'm, I'll just stick to commercials. That's all I do. And I just wanted to see what all of, all the fuss was about, about all these big weights. So on the, I booked onto the open match, which was on the Sunday, and I went on the Friday to have a go, have a practice. I met uh, John Winkup and Tony Evans down there, and um, we had a little practice. We, if anyone knows, it was sat opposite the poacher. Um, kept it really simple. Um, all the fish was top four to hand on bread, just like chucking a little ball of bread or cupping a little ball of bread in. Uh, and then I fished either a four or a six mil bit of bread punch on the hook. That seemed best. And then I had a hemp line across where I just big potted some hemp in and then just catapulted a bit of hemp in over the top as the day went on. Uh, on the practice match, I literally never seen anything like it. It was literally top four to hand all day. And it was between a four ounce to an eight ounce and an odd bonus fish, like 12 ounce roach, like... I just couldn't believe it. Like, it's middle of winter and you're getting, like, a bite of chuck. Like, commercials in the middle of winter, you, d you just don't get a bite of chuck. It's, like, so peggy. And, like, it just opened my eyes up just from that just from that Friday. And, like, with me not fishing a river before as well, like, obviously it run through quite fast as well and something that I've never really seen. And once I got to the grips of that and, like, how, where to run it through, like, down the middle and top four tan then I got a bit of a skim on it so just a short lining rig was better at times and I caught absolutely no end like I probably had like 25 pound in a few hours and I thought oh my god like this is unreal like what I've been missing out and come the match I think there's I'm not sure how many was on the match but if anyone knows the river you want to be drawing from the tax office down to the reeds like where the reeds were that's where the weights had been coming out and luckily at the draw I drew just three up from the tax office bridge which is absolutely spot on where I wanted to be I was like I said in the morning anywhere from there to the reeds would be absolutely bang on and like my first ever river match I was like wheeling my kit down there couldn't wait to get there like so excited and when I got there set everything up got a platform in got everything set up plumbed up a top four line just like on a on the end of my top four, my long four, and then for a, a top four to hand, and then I set up also a short lining rig just in case it started running through or you couldn't like control the top four rig, and then also I plumbed up over to the tins because there's some tins there where I was, so I plumbed up to the far side. It was probably about two and a half foot, and I thought I'd pop hemp in there. I was exactly the how I did it practicing. I thought I'm just going to stick to that because I caught loads. And when I was plumbing up, I could feel roach there. Like, there were so many fish there. And uh, as soon as the whistle went, I literally I cupped in a thing of cupped in two balls of breadcrumb, I think. And then either I run either a six or a four mil um, bit of bread punch over the top. And just, like, run it through. Probably about, I think I was fishing probably about two inches off the bottom, I think. Something like that. And then, literally, the first hour, of I couldn't literally get him fast enough. It was literally between a four and eight ounce fish every single put in and probably I caught really really well on the short lining rig probably for four hours and then it started going a little bit funny I probably end, I probably had about I don't know 
130 roach after four hours, but they're like, they're massive stamp and like, they're just weight builders and you just know instantly that you're putting a weight together. But you can never tell on that river whether you're doing any good or not because everybody's catching, like everyone was swinging fish in, netting them, you never know how you're getting on. And it come to about the fourth, end of the fourth hour and it was starting to fade a little bit on the short line. So I thought, what I'll do, I'll go across where I potted in some hemp and I've been loose feeding with a catapult and I just did it exactly the same as what I'd done down the middle, just run a bit of bread over the top of my hemp and it was it was a manic last hour, literally. It was a between uh, a six and a 12 ounce fish every single put in and I ended the match with, I think I ended up with about, not I think I ended up about 165 fish, I think. So not many fish, but they're absolute. The the stamp of them were like they were massive, and it come to the end of the match, and I thought I don't know whether I've had a mega day, whether I've done any good or not. Like I didn't expect to do any good, and I followed the scale along from the other end where the foot footpath bridge was, and people were weighing in like forty pound. Winnie had like thirty five pound. I thought oh, I've never caught that. Do you know what I mean? I never thought that I'd I'd caught that much, and. I just thought my stamp of fish, like they looked similar to them and I had like a few more fish than other people. So I thought like 40 pound, I think uh, Dan Varney had like 45 pound, a couple of pegs up as well. And it comes to me to weigh in and like I pulled my net out and I couldn't believe it. I literally hard to get it up the bank. I, had, I think I had 50 pounds, 12 ounce, I think I did. Um, and then the last person I was winning up to there, and then the last person to weigh in was uh, Greg on the, it was two out the end and he'd caught a load. And he ended up with 49.15. So that's when I knew I'd won the match. And like, that's my first ever river match. And it was literally, it'd be, it will stick with me forever, that will. Like, I don't, I don't expect to go back on that river anytime soon. Like, I've had, I had two more matches on there after and I had 18 pound on one of them and I blanked on the other one. So it's just like, you never know on the river. Like I did draw, I drew out of town on one of the ones where I blanked, but there's obviously not many fish up there. But this year, I just can't wait to, hopefully the fish are back in there and the, the roach are back in there and hopefully we're going to catch a load again.